This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Dow Capone Johnson & Johnson is trading higher on Wednesday morning after beating top and bottom line estimates. Uh, looking back, uh, the stock topped out just above 150 in February 2020 and plunged during the pandemic decline. It very quickly returned to the prior high, but that was the uh, basically the high for the rest of 2020 right here in April. Waddled sideways, uh, failing a breakout attempt here in September, failing another one in October, finally coming back up right at the end of the year. Uh, and the start of January, breaking out and heading up into the 170s. Now, this marks the high just in about late January, the high so far in 2021. Came back and tested the prior breakout successfully, which is good news, and then posted a higher low here, posted another higher low here, while this breakout attempt uh, failed. Well, actually, it didn't, never even got above the prior high. Now, this price action gives us a bullish ascending triangle pattern, which is really good news. Uh, it projects a move up into the 190s following the breakout. However, if you take a look down here to unbalanced volume, unbalanced volume actually peaked in February 2020. It's made a lot of progress right up here into about May, almost came back to this prior high. And as you can see, we have this distribution wave right in here. Uh, probably had a lot to do with the um, CDC banging on J&J &J for side effects and the effectiveness of the Janssen vaccine when it comes to the Delta variant and all that stuff. Uh, well, you know, uh, Johnson & Johnson is worth almost a half a trillion dollars and doesn't really need the Janssen vaccine in order to succeed. It's got much bigger problems with talcum powder uh, litigation and also opiate litigation, but it's working its way through those. So I think it's got to overcome this distribution right here for this to be a successful breakout. Uh, so even so, I think by the end of the year, you're going to find uh, Johnson & Johnson up closer to the 200 level.